Lunch break. Hey guys, you are watching Lunch Break, the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch. Watch us on TV Tuesdays at 12 p.m. and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. on Spectrum 79 and 1998. On RCN Channel 83 and Verizon Fios Channel 35. Watch us live every Friday at 4 p.m. on TV, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and Twitch. Spectrum Channel 1997. RCN 85 and Verizon Fios Channel 37. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody! <laughs> Hello everybody! Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break. Yes, I am your host. Hey, damn, everybody! It's locking in already. I can see you guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break, the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch, at work, at dorms, in quarantine, everywhere in the world. Doesn't matter where you are. We can bring it to you. I'm gonna put you down so I can talk to everybody and interact. It's gonna be much better. Um, but hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the live, Kathy. Welcome to the Emily, who's on Instagram. What, what up, Louis? <laughs> Everyone's going out the one works. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the the last episode of our season four. And season five starts next week. Yes, yes, season five starts next week. Here. Wow, 104. Today's our hundred and today is episode 104. I can't even come out of my mouth. I'm not gonna say that. That's no, 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 no. Yes, so today it embarks our 104th episode ever that we've done for this show. Jesus has been uh, I don't know what to say today. Four seasons already. This is gonna, the end of the fourth season. Um it's, it's been a long journey, a long road, but thank you all of you guys for watching and supporting. I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, you guys are, are the, the heart of this program. And without you guys, there wouldn't be a program at all. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And of course, I, if I haven't said it before, I'm going to say it again. Um, my name is Christian Knight, of course, um, host of this program. Um, and soon, hopefully, we'll be joined with other individuals if they come um, in time. But yes, thank you for coming on and tuning in wherever you're watching us, either it's from Facebook, from YouTube, from Instagram, from Twitch, um, from Twitter. Um, we're streaming all over the place. Um, we'll get to, you know, to, to stream again on the TV once we got it down packed and we fix everything properly. But we will get there. We will definitely get there. Just to let you know. But thank you, everyone, who's, who's joining us. Um, he's on myself for a little bit. Um, I got an unexpected call and a major update for you guys. Uh, my father called me. Yes, my father called me. He's able to speak. Um, it, it, it just happened a few minutes ago, so I'm a little like, you know, besides myself, because I haven't heard him speak properly or, or in fluently um, since uh, what happened to him. But yeah, he, he's, he, he spoke and he's talking fine. So he's doing much better uh, to let you guys know about that. Hey, Anna! Um, so yeah, so my father's doing much better, and uh, I don't know what else to say, I, I'm just beside myself, I just, whatever. But, anyway, so, thank you all for joining me today, we're going to be making bah, 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 honey sriracha meatballs. Everybody's watching. Hey, Laura! <laughs> You're on Twitch, doesn't that work out? <gasps> Are you serious? Wait, what? 
No. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the Twitch one. Thank you, Lord. I'll, I'll restart the Twitch. Um, it might be the fact that uh, uh, I pressed something by mistake. Uh, let, me, let me do it again. Um, but yes, thank you everyone for joining me today. That we're gonna be making uh, honey sriracha meatballs. Okay, so. Get yourself, if you have meatballs in the fridge or you have leftover meatballs in the fridge, go get them right now. Um, I actually bought pre-made meatballs that we're going to be using um, for the show. Uh, let me just try this again. Uh, but yes, yes, so um, you don't have to make it from scratch. If you do want to make it from scratch, I do have the recipe for you guys over here ready and listed for you. Um, uh, but, you know, as we do in the show, we like doing stuff that are fast and ready to be made. And don't have to worry about it. So, especially if you take pre-made meatballs to your job or to your dorm or any, anything fast-wise that you want to make for lunch or for dinner or for breakfast, and you want to be able to eat it with a certain amount of time because you don't get a lot of time to make it or do, um, especially when you're at your job, um, it makes it easy for pre-planning and for making your meals. So, all right. So I got the Twitch back up just in case. Let me know if it's working. Um, but yeah. So thank you everyone for joining me. Um, if you want to make the recipe at the same time that I'm making it, like I said, all you got to do right now is grab yourself some meatballs. So, which reminds me, I should take the meatballs out. Oh, it crashed. Oh, it is having network issues. No. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to do a pre-show about this later. Because uh, the stream keeps getting out. The stream keeps coming out from the Twitch. So, hey, Annie, what up? So yeah, so the Twitch keeps knocking out, I keep seeing that, so... Hey, Laura! <laughs> You're on Instagram now. <laughs> yeah, the Twitch keeps dropping out for some reason. I think uh, I might have forgotten to, like, um, charge it or something. Yeah, it keeps knocking out. It's not going to work. I might have to restart it. So it's okay. I'll, I'll just restream it. After the stream is over, I'll restream it, and then I'll be live with everybody on the stream. So it's all good. No worries. Um, but, um, yeah, so... Thank you all of you for joining me today uh, on our show. Maybe if I just hear it, I should just hear it. Hear it, reopen it, press the button, and go back. Uh, but yes, thank you everyone for joining me today. Definitely, definitely, like I said. Oh, and you're up there too. <laughs> Let us see. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, go to my boys. Oh, what the hell? Why is this not recording? I'm not. Um, Go to my boy Luis Hernandez. I want to make sure I have the right last name. Um, they created a show with uh, two something Latinos. I gotta, I gotta, I'm bad with, man, with names, but go look him up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post them on my page uh, in a few. Um, it's a brand new show that they created. Go, go follow and support them. You know, because you know that's what we do here. Uh, we support everybody. My Twitch is acting up, stupid. Um, uh, but yeah, go to uh, this page and support them like we all do here. We support each other uh, stream-wise. Please, please, please go, just go to them and watch his stuff. You know, because like I said, we only grow together as a team and a whole. So, without further ado, let me go get the meatballs. I forgot to totally take them out. But see, boom, boom, the meatballs are already done. See? And I'm going to wait for the meatballs. But yeah, so... Like I said before, you can have already pre-made meatballs already done, or if you want to make the meatballs yourself, all you have to do is use your own uh, ground meat. <clears throat> so, which means and includes, um, it could be ground turkey, ground chicken, um, ground beef, so, right? Uh, but yeah, that is totally up to you. Why did I go to my stream manager? Why is it? What the hell? I don't know what's going on. This thing is acting up stupid. But yeah, so, um, so if you're going to make a meatball mix, this is what you're going to need for it to, to be made, basically. But you, you guys can do your own meatball mix if you have your own or you, you've done your own recipe towards it. You don't really necessarily have to do mine. <laughs> nah, you're welcome, brother, man. Uh, Lewis said, thank you, Christian. I appreciate that. No, no problem. Listen, drop the uh, URL on the chat so this way I can say it. Um, and the name of it, too, so this way I can say it also because I'll put it in the post setting. So, because that's what we do here. We promote and support everybody, right? Everybody. Um, where is Mel? I have no clue. Ah, oh, thank you. Two Crazy Latinos. That's the name of this program that he created, okay? Go watch that. Go look it up on YouTube, 
my Facebook. Go support it, like, comment, and share, okay? Don't do that. I say Christians don't do that. Uh, it's the kick me up. Oh, really? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Social medias are, are acting weird today. Like, legit, they, they're acting weird. I've, I've start, restarted Instagram like twice. Um, I restarted the Twitch twice. Even the, the, the Facebook, I had to resign into it, which made no sense, but whatever. Anyway, we're not here to, to discuss issues and problems with social media. And see, now I just went great. Um, but yeah, so thank you all once again. Let's get the meatballs, as you see here, ready. So, oh, so the meatball mix that you're going to be using, if you want to use this one, if you have your own, it's all good and gravy. <laughs> get it, gravy. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, this recipe says to use uh, two pounds of ground turkey. Uh, one large egg, uh, one cup of breadcrumbs, uh, four garlic cloves minced, um, half a cup of scallions, which of course, you know, um, it's used for the actual dish and you can use it as a garnish later if you wanted to. Um, one teaspoon of salt, but some of you can omit that if you really don't want to use salt and you know, you're not into the taking it to the salt. Um, one, uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper. So that's for the meatball mix. So we don't have to do that ourselves like I said we already pre have meatballs already done um, so what we're gonna do is that a little bit more um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cook these meatballs up um, so this way we can start the dish and you guys can see what we're doing oh what's it ah thank you <laughs> facebook.com slash two the number two T W O crazy Latinos within us um, that's where you can find the shows and support the guys Okay. I got pops. Yeah, I saw too many people on Wi-Fi taking up tons of bandwidth. That is very true. Around this time, that is very true. That's why I try to reset everything, make it all brand new, fresh, and hopefully it works. So here's our meatballs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our elote right here. We're gonna put it on medium to low heat, right? Medium to low heat, and then we're gonna put some oil on here. Let me put you guys down this way. I'm gonna put some oil in this. So this way we can start cooking up the meatball parts, all right? Because then I'm going to show you the mix that you're going to need for the sauce. What are you doing? So let's get our vegetable oil. So I'm using vegetable oil on this. I'm not using uh, canola oil like normally uh, or um, olive oil. I actually want to use the vegetable oil because you get a little bit more taste. And it infuses. Mm -hmm into our, <clears throat> our meat. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me say that. All right, so put down that, babe. All right. All right, so, as this heats up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the lead for this bad boy. So we'll start here up a little bit more. And then we're gonna start putting in our meatballs on here. So, a little bit of knowledge base. I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit this way to me while that heats up. Um, so here's the knowledge base on meatballs. Now mind you, um, this is a honey sriracha meatballs recipe. So the actual origination is actually from meatballs. So you're probably thinking to yourself and trying to wonder, because I'm wondering, so who is who invented meatballs? Well, at the moment, everyone did. It's a world cuisine, apparently. Um, it's unclear who invented the first meatball, so here's another drop of base. Um, although many people believe that meatball first originated in Persia, where leftover meat was used to make a dish known kofta. Right, I think I said that right, kofta? I think uh, Melissa was on, she should probably tell me. What up, Angel? What up, man? Um, yeah, so, um, it was supposed that the, from Persia, the meatball spread throughout the Middle East to China. Um, the meatball is ground meat rolled into a small ball, sometimes along with some ingredients such as breadcrumbs, minced onions, eggs, butter, and seasoning. Uh, meatballs are cooked by frying, baking, steaming, or braising in sauce, which that's what we're gonna be kind of doing with the sauce part. Um, and then there are many types of meatballs using different types of meats and spices, uh, the term sometimes extends to meatless version based on vegetables or fish, <laughs> which the latter is commonly known as fish balls. <laughs> so there you go. There's, there's, there's the assumption of that stuff. Alright, let me put you guys down. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, so now that this is nice and heated up, we're gonna put this down to low to medium, a little bit low low. Uh, and start putting in our meatballs. And just be careful with these because you know you don't want them to start. Yeah, that. You don't want them to start doing that to you. So I'm gonna put it back to medium now. I'm gonna put the top right on top of the lid so they can start cooking up. Now, in the meantime, while that's cooking, hello everybody. Um, what we're gonna side this with is some white delicious rice. Yes, white rice that we're gonna be doing. So, um, right now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do for the rice. And like I said, we're siding this with white rice. So as you see here, rice is, this is, I'm gonna show you my secret though. I'm gonna show you my secret. This is my secret special rice. I know some people have their own secret special rice. So here's the rice. We have about a pound and a half of rice that we have in here. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Um, we're gonna wash it real quick. So remember, make sure you wash your rice to get all those stuff out that has been put into the rice. Because most of the stuff is, is, I don't know if they put chemicals in it to clean it and stuff like that, but see how dirty that water is? Yeah, no, we don't want that. We don't, we don't want that in our rice, we just want the rice. Yeah, that's what we want. We just want the rice. Right, so, drain it. So now, here's the misconception sometimes people do. There's just some people who have techniques with the spoon holding in the middle and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you and teach you the fact of what my wife Melissa showed me besides the spoon. So basically there's one cup and a half worth of rice in here. So what you want to do is that you want to put in at least an extra half of water when you put it into your uh, rice. You can do it on the stove or you can do it in a rice cooker, which I'm doing it my, um, myself. I'm doing it in a rice cooker. Um, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add in our two cups of water. That's one. And two. So that's the two cups of water to the one and a half um, cup of rice, All right? Now, the next thing we're gonna do to this is that I'm gonna put some chives. My, this is my secret, right? I'm telling you one of my secrets that I use for my rice. Hey Ashley, what up? <laughs> How you doing? I haven't done your shout out yet. I'm gonna do that in a few minutes, okay? That's right here. I'm gonna do that in a few minutes, so hi, hi, hi. Give me one second. I'm gonna put you guys back to the rice. Alright, so we're gonna put in the chives. Um, it's up to you how much you want to put. Definitely, um, it's a tasting, but this is what's going to give the flavor and <clears throat> the secret to my stuff. Alright, so I'm going to put this back over here. Alright, so we have the chives in there. Now the next thing we're going to add in here is, of course, like I said before, is some oil. Of course, for Spanish rice, we put in some oil. So we're going to use two spoonfuls of the oil in this. One. Alright, so now that's done. That's it. And then all you gotta do is just mix this in properly. Make sure the oil gets encased in the entire dish of the rice. Make sure your rice is flat though, by the way. Make sure your rice is all flat on all sides. And then pop the lid. Put it in the rice cooker. Make sure you plug it too. Don't forget that. You end up putting it on and then you forget it. So. There, done. So the rice is done. So we're gonna be siding that with some white rice. Hey, what up, guys? What up, man? Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be siding that with some white rice, which you just saw. I just gave you my secret rice recipe um, that I've never told anybody about, but uh, yeah, now you guys know. So that's where we're at. If you're just tuning in, wherever you're watching, we are making honey sriracha meatballs. So that's what we're making today. So grab yourself meatballs if you have them in the fridge. Um, it's basically the same thing that I'm doing here. I didn't make it from scratch. I did give out the recipe. But I'm going to give out the recipe on how to make the sauce for this. Because it, it's all up to taste and it's all up to you guys on how you want to make this. Because 
because you're the ones ending up eating this at the end, okay? So remember that. So let me put you guys down here to where the meatball is. And let's see how our meatballs are doing. Oh, nice. All right, so now, I'm gonna give them a nice little turn. As you can see, look at that, look at that, look at that. They are starting to cook up. And this only has basically a vegetable that we put on it. And these are pre-made meatballs that we're browning up to make it easier and faster for when we start adding the sauce to it. This actually smells pretty good, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. There you go. Um, yeah, this smells pretty good. These are just regular meatballs. There's no extra added into it. It's just regular meatballs. Um, I don't think there's sweet Italian meatballs. I think they're regular meatballs. I really checked in the stuff. <laughs> hey Joe, <laughs> help me up with some meatballs. Yes, we are. Oh, wait, wait, I said the rice is colded with wax. Ah, there you go. So, thank you. So that's why we wash the uh, the rice, by the way, because um, rice is basically coated with wax. I guess that's why we end up washing it all the time. Um, what up, DJs? Dang, everybody's coming out. <laughs> so yeah, so um, as you see here, we have the meatballs cooking. I'm gonna check for you guys what the actual uh, type of meatballs are. I think they're generic, regular meatballs. I don't think they're anything special. Uh, yeah, no. That's basically what it says. Original meatballs. That's it. There's nothing extra into it. I'm pretty sure it has a few different ingredients of black pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, but everybody does their meatballs different, so, you know, it, it all depends on you guys. Um, so, now, while this is cooking, it's time to show you what you're gonna need for the sauce. And now I'm gonna take out a little sauce pan right here so we can mix all this stuff together. I'm gonna turn this one on. I'm gonna put it on medium heat because we don't want this to burn. Okay, we don't want this to burn. Um, and we're gonna put the sauce together. You guys are gonna watch me put the sauce together. So what you're gonna need now, grab a pan. For all those who are watching, let's grab a pan, right? The first thing you're gonna need to make this, I know this is gonna sound weird, like I said, this is what you need to make this with, this is part of the recipe. Um, is an eighth cup of sriracha sauce. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Yo. Woo! This is gonna put some hair on somebody's chest. No lie. So, an eighth of a cup of sriracha. Put that right in there. Don't leave no sauce behind. Put that right in there. There we go. That's one. That's the first thing. Just give it a nice little mix, put that in there. All right? Now, the next thing you're gonna need in here is a, qu a quarter of a cup of honey. Yeah, a quarter of a cup of honey. Put that sucker in there too. Give your spatula. Take that all out of the container. There we go. All oh, nice and pretty. Look at that. All nice and pretty. Alright. Put that right there. Now, the next thing you're gonna need for this is three tablespoons of soy sauce. So here's the soy sauce. Put it right in there too. And as you put in this one in there, what you wanna do is you don't wanna start. Uh, mixing this you don't want this to start sticking at the bottom and mind you make sure you have this on low heat low to medium heat because you don't want it to burn you want it to cook especially because all adding all these ingredients into this are gonna start boiling so you definitely don't want it to boil you want it to simmer and cook slowly oh god this one's so good Oh, look at the steam, look at the steam. All right, so the next thing you're gonna add into this is half a teaspoon, right, of sesame oil. There's a half a teaspoon, that's almost like nothing. That's literally almost like nothing. Oh my God, I can smell it now too. Anyway, all right, so now we're gonna put this all the way to low. Like I said, we want this to cook, not burn. Right? Now the next thing you're gonna add into this is your dry ingredients. Well, this is not dry, but 
your only dry ingredient, which is one tablespoon of ground ginger. There you go. Mix that in there too. Oh wow. It smells almost like when you do stir fry into this. Oh yeah, this is, oh my god. This is dangerous. And then just do the method of on and off on the stove part. Ooh. You hear the meatballs? You guys hear the meatballs? Yeah, you There you go. Look at that sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. The last ingredient you're going to put into this is your um, garlic cloves. So you're going to need two garlic cloves minced into that piece. The, almost like little tiny pieces. <laughs> As she said, I'm making her hungry. Listen, that's the whole point. If I'm making you hungry, that's good. All right, so we put in our minced garlic in here. And like I said, on and off type of situation over here. You don't want this to burn. You want it to cook. There you go. Nice, nice little mix right there. All right, so now we're going to turn this off for now. We're going to let this cool for a bit. And then we're going to bring it back. We want everything to cook up. As you can see, see how it's turning out already? Yeah, that's what we want. Look at that. That's what we want. Alright, so we're gonna set that to the side. Check up on our meatballs. Mm. Oh my god, this smells pretty good. Hold on, let me, let me adjust you guys to this way. So you guys can see the meatballs. There we go. Everybody on Facebook can see them already. Look at, look at the brownie on these things. Look at the brownie, I'm telling you, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yes, oh my god, this is gonna be dangerous. I'm just turning them over to be cooked on the side that they haven't cooked on. And like I said, all this is, is just oil and sauce. I mean, oil and meatballs. There's nothing else add, extra added into this. That's why it's mad easy to make. Like, anybody can make this. Like, legit, anyone, anyone can make this. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna put this all the way down to low. I'm gonna cover these guys up and be right back. So enjoy the second. I'll be right back. Hey guys, you are watching Lunch Break, the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch. Watch us live every Friday at 4 p.m. on TV, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and Twitch. Spectrum Channel 1997. RCN 85 and Verizon Fios Channel 37. Watch us on TV, Tuesdays at 12 p.m. and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. on Spectrum 79 and 1998. On RCN Channel 83 and Verizon Fios Channel 35. Alright, I am back, peoples. Alright, so, in the meantime, while we're waiting for these delicious, scrumptious uh, meatballs to finish, I got these on the table right now. These falling, these towels. Put them that way. Oh, uh, I'm gonna give y'all some shout outs in the meantime. So, let's clean this up. So, as I've said before in the, on this channel and on, the, on our program, that we like to support and shop, give shout outs to all those good, wholehearted people, warm hearted people that are out there that are basically um, showing the world that there's a different way of thinking and there's positivity in the world. Um, so, as we do here in, on lunch break, and we started to do actually, uh, we're going to give shout outs to those individuals who are wholeheartedly awesome people in the world. Um, so the first person I want to start off with, um, I'm trying to find the, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I want to make sure I got the right one. I want to make sure I have the actual URL. So, I want to give a shout out, big shout out, because you're watching right now. 
Um, to Ashley Jeanette, because she's an awesome person that I got to know through Medic. Um, um, she's a, a, a great gamer, even though I know she, she, she dies at certain games of Ghost type of things, but you know, he's still good. <laughs> so, major big shout out to you, Ashley. Um, go visit her on her twitch.tv slash Ashley, A S H L E Y, Jeanette, J E A N E T T E E. Okay? Go like, comment, and share, and support her stream, okay? Go do that. Go do that. And of course, um, if you're watching, another person I want to give out a shout out to is my boy who I got to meet through medical. So look at that, I got to meet a whole bunch of people through medical. Um, is Putno. Um, he's also a wholesome guy out there, you know, doing his thing. He loves supporting everybody, he does streaming and, and, and playing games and Call of Duty, everything. We all we all are a community of awesome people, so um, go support him as well. Um, his uh, URL is twitch.tv slash P-U-T-N, the number 4, M027. So go support those streamers, man. You know, we as a community got to support everybody on our everything. You know, they're great, awesome people, and they really, like, they really deserve more than they have right now. They, they literally... I, I can't put into words how much love they've given me. I just put into the, the me post aside how much love they have for for people that so wholeheartedly, you know. And of course, at the same time, uh, we're gonna give out some birthday shoutouts, which we, I don't have that many. Um, I don't know if there's anybody out there who has birthdays. Let me know. I'll, sh I'll give them a shout out for their birthdays. Um, but I want to recognize my cousin whose birthday uh, was yesterday. Um, Navel, happy birthday to you, sir. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it and have an awesome time doing it. Um, happy birthday to Reese, who birthday was also yesterday. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to say happy birthday. I'm sorry, I'm bad. I'm a bad friend, I know. I'm a bad friend. Um, um, to my uncle, Teodoro, who um, basically his birthday was on Tuesday. So happy birthday to you, sir. Um, hopefully many blessings for more and more. Um, and of course, to our cousin Christina, which is your birthday's tomorrow. Go live it up, go do your thing, go party hardy, whatever it is called right now, if you can. I know you really can't much because of everything that's going on, but hey, listen, we're here celebrating you by saying happy birthday, um, at least from lunch break. So, and happy birthday to all those people who have birthdays as well, from lunch break to you guys, because like I said, we can't create, we can't be ourselves and can't create, uh, can't create the program if you guys are not the ones watching, because this only exists because of you guys, legit. Like legit, you guys are what makes it awesome. Um, also, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of those essential workers that are out there doing their stuff and on a daily basis. And ourselves, of course, can't forget ourselves. You know, from policemen, firemen, delivermen, um, food, everything, 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 everybody. Thank you guys for doing what you have to do for us and for yourself in order for us to be here tomorrow. And the next, because you know, that's, that's all we can do. Um, but I definitely greatly appreciate you, all of you guys who are watching, everybody who comes on the lives, um, everybody who contributes, you know, like I said, um, if I can give you more than just thank yous, I would. So, uh, without further ado, let's look at our, our delicious meatballs that we made over here. Okay. These brownish. Let's see if I can make you even more hungry now. Alright, so look. So here's our meatball. So what I'm going to do, then I'm gonna drain the oil out of this so I can put in the sauce into this. Alright, so give me one second. Make it a little bit more like molasses so this way we can pour it into the meatballs. So did you cut off? Or did someone try to call? Alright, so so I put the um, the sauce mix back on the pot or on the on the stove so we can heat it up a little bit. Because we want to make this sauce a little bit more like molasses. See how it's getting there to that point? So we're gonna let it cook up and simmer very slowly on here. Then we're gonna pour it into our mix of the meatballs and create 
create our honey sriracha meatballs. Oh my god, this tastes so good. I'm gonna be bad. Oh, that is dangerous. Mmm. Woo! That is very dangerous. Now, <clears throat> to let you know, go easy on the sriracha. Unless you're really a person who likes spicy stuff, by all means, you're good. Oh, but holy crap, that is spicy beyond my own taste. But I'm still gonna eat it because that shit delicious. Right, so now, I should just start boiling a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So that's the consistency that we wanted to get to. Then we're gonna pour it right into our meatballs. So we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna start pouring. Oh. All, right. All we're gonna do is just pour it into the mix. No sauce left behind. Pour it in the entire mix of the sauce. And of course, the, our frying pan, our saucepan, is gonna be hot still. All we're gonna do is just take each meat ball, cover them into the mix. There you go. If you have to do some raisin on that, do so. The ball. Just make sure you coat all the meat balls. Look, look how glazed this look. Like you guys got I know you guys can't see it from there. You guys can't see it from there. But I wanna bring you guys up close. Look at the glaze on that. Like, do you see the glazedness of this? Look how it looks. That's insane. Oh my god, this is gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Mind you, anything we do here on lunch break, by the way, anything we do here on lunch break is actually my first time making it. So, it could go bad, it could go good, it could go sour. Yeah, it's the first time making it. So, holy crap. I just wanna taste the sauce again. Oh! That was the sound of rice, the rice is done. Uh oh. This is just the sauce, by the way. Woo! Sweet and spicy. It almost tastes like if, if this had green onions, it would taste literally like um, sweet and sour chicken. Or, uh, no, uh, sweat, the General Souls chicken. That's definitely what it, what it reminds me of. Like, that's what it tastes like. Like, legit. Alright, so. Hey, Samantha, what up? <laughs> Alright, so. If you're tuning in, we are making spicy. Ah, uh, spicy, what I'm talking about. We are making honey shiracha meatballs. Alright, so the meatballs are done. The rice just finished. So now, this is the next technique that I'm gonna show you that I do with the rice. Alright? Just making sure our social medias are open. So now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the rice. We're gonna take the rice. I'm gonna put it on this. Now you see me. I'm gonna show you what I do. Here. All right. So this is my secret technique. If you guys watching? My secret technique. Of what I do to the rice. Now you saw I just took the rice out. That's the only thing I did. Now this is what you do after your rice is done. Like legit, I'm giving you my secrets. So this is what what I do with the rice. Because this is why the rice ends up going gone. Like everybody eats it. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna put your rice down. Back to over here. Okay. So the rice is done. Open the lid. Watch that steam. Take the spoon and un. Take the rice, and lift off all, all the rice. It's in the rice cooker. Make sure you get every single nook and cranny. Because then, you know, at the bottom, we leave the kong kong, or the pig out, as Puerto Rican say, uh, for my wife. My wife uh, calls the pig out, Puerto Rican, in Hungary and Sicilian. Um, I call it kong kong, it's in Dominican. But uh, yeah, so you take the rice, separate the rice. 
then flatten it back out one more time. And then now, before you take it out, this is the secret. Before you take the rice out, okay, you go back. Take the oil, right? You take your spoon and you spread that love of the oil all around, okay? Spread that oil, mix that oil into the rice. I'm telling you, you do this, this rice will disappear. Legit. This rice will disappear. Alright? Just make sure you mix it all fully. And the reason I take it out the rice cooker is that I don't want the rice cooker when it goes into warm mode to continue cooking the, the rice at the bottom. Because the rice becomes almost like um like, like I said, the hard part, it becomes kong kong. It makes it difficult to take out, but if you take it out at a certain point and degree, um, you can actually scrape it and eat it, almost like if it was cassava. So, yeah. And it gives it that taste of popcornish, by the way. We never had it. So, the rice is done. The meatballs are done. You already know, guys, what we have to do. What it calls time for. Let's do some presentation. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna get the little plate and bowl so we can put together and do our presentation. So I'm gonna be a little fancy with this one today. We haven't done fanciness in a while, so I'm gonna show you guys my piece. So we're going to do a little fingers in this, clean this all, put you guys back down here. So this is what we're going to do for my presentation. We're going to take the rice that we have here, scoop it up, place that into our bowl, scoop up some more. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't done this in a long, long, long time. Right? Flatten the rice. Been a while since I've done this. I don't know if it's going to work, but we shall see. Alright. I'm doing fanciness. This is for you guys. I'm doing fanciness. Hey, Nancy! What's up? And <laughs> right, so I'm doing fanciness, okay? So here you go. I'm gonna try to put this right in the middle. Right? And it should. Oh! There you go! Damn! There's your fanciness. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work though. Um, so, then the next, the last thing you gotta put in this, this is for garnishing by the way. Um, we're gonna garnish this. Oh, wait. I forgot this. Let's put the, uh, the meatballs first. So, we're gonna take some meatballs. We're gonna put it. Around, but one, two. Yeah, it's right, we're making fancy. Fancy, eh? There we go. Nice little fancy in there. Then we're gonna take some sauce. And sprinkle that. Add the side. So, see, fanciness, right? Y'all can do this. Trust me, y'all can do this. Anyone can do this. Oh my god. Such a fool, you're a chef now. Your wife is so lucky. <laughs> I'm just a survival chef, no lie. I, I, I just make stuff up. Um, Alright, so, garnish. This is for garnishing. Right? Put some chives. Right around, right on top. All to you guys, depending on what you guys want to do for yourself. Right? Then the last part actually calls for some sesame, some sesame, sesame, wait, sesame seeds. Oh my 
God, I can't even see that properly. So, this is all to your taste. Perfect. There you go. There you have it. There is your honey sriracha meatballs. See it? See it? Well, I'm gonna bring this to you guys so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna taste test it by the way, so you guys can see it too. Also. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that deliciousness right there. Come on, come on. I know you guys want some. Come on, you guys want some, right? You guys want some. Oh wait, wait. I, I, I can bring you guys close to me. I forgot that thing's hot. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wow, but then you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna put this one to the side. Um, me, oh, I'll use this bowl. Some of the chives. Extended to be like a whole hour or anything. Get a spoon. But you guys can easily do this really, really fast. Like I said, all you need is a meatball premix that you that's already done. You can buy the meatballs already pre-done. Or if you want to literally test yourself out and do the meatballs, you can do the recipe as I, uh, I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'll show you again what you guys need. Get a pen and paper. Um, but yo, know, I'm just saying. All right, so here we go. So I'm cutting into the meatball. Take a little bit of the rice. Mm. Oh my god, it's dangerous. I don't think I should have done this. Because now I feel like making this again and eating it like all day. Like legit, this, this is how it looks. This is how it looks, people. Uh, before I take my bite. And the meatballs are so crisp on the outside and soft on the middle from just cooking it. This came out good. It was a really good one. Not bad to end the show with. Good it is. Wow, it's just enough to like get you there, but enough to be like, Ooh, I am sweating type of situation. So that's how it is. Wow, that really tasted so. <clears throat> oh, I just want to go off the air already right, so I can eat it, but all right. So, if you want to test it out and make your own uh, meatball. Uh, there's many different recipes out there. Unless you have your own recipe, you can do that as well. Because remember, you just have to make them um, at least small enough for you to do this sauce type. Um, you're gonna need about two pounds of ground turkey, or ground beef, or ground chicken, whatever you desire is. Um, mix it with one large egg, uh, one cup of breadcrumbs, uh, four garlic cloves that you have to mince up and to make into pieces, uh, one quarter cup of scallion onions, um, which you can also use as a um, garnishing for later on after your meal is finished. Um, one teaspoon of salt. You can omit the salt if you guys are not intake of salt that way. Um, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. That's the mix for that you need to make for the actual meatballs. Now, for the sauce part, um, like I said before, go easy on the sriracha because that thing is spicy. Um, it does call for an eighth of a cup. But you can do a little bit less than that, you know. It's up to you guys. It's your taste and liking. You can do one sixteenth. You don't have to put that much. You know, a little bit, just a little spiciness. Or you can omit that and, and use like red pepper flakes or something, or hot sauce, depending on you guys. Whatever you guys want to make. Um, you need one a quarter cup of honey, three tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, 
half a teaspoon of sesame oil, which is, you saw it was like almost like nothing. Um, one tablespoon of ground ginger, um, which you can also do the uh, fresh ginger and just slice it up and cut it up and put it into the mix. Um, and two garlic cloves, also minced. Um, after the meal is cooked and made together, uh, for garnishing, like I said before, you can use the scary onions or uh, you can do the chives with the sesame seeds because the sesame seeds also are garnished. You don't have to put all those in there, they're all garnishing um, ingredients. But holy crap! <laughs> Look good! <laughs> um, oh, I'm sweating a little bit. Holy crap! But that thing was so tasty and delicious, no lie. Um, just remember on the sauce method when you're cooking it, um, it's off and on because you don't want it to um, burn, you want it to cook. Um, and once you start seeing it boiling, um, that's the point where you need to like take it off the stove, mix it, mix it, mix it, put it back. Like I said, you have honey in there, so you don't you want it to be a little bit like molasses, but you don't want it to burn. Uh, you want it to be a little bit runny, but con condensed enough that you can glaze. See, where you can glaze. Uh, yes, we see it. The uh, meatballs. That's what you want. You want it to glaze it. So just keep that in mind and then once you do it, you can side it with whatever you want. You can do it with salad, you can do it with potatoes, you can do it with french fries. Meatballs and french fries, it doesn't go wrong, that's still me. That doesn't sound right, but yeah. Uh, I decided to play it with white rice. And as you guys can see, that was the outcome. That is literally the outcome of this recipe and this dish. Look at that. I feel like plugging something in the middle. I don't know. Uh, that's, that, that's what my take is. I feel like I, I'm missing something. But um, once again, I wanted to make sure I give a shout out to these two precious, awesome individuals um, who stream games and are streamers on Twitch. Um, go visit them, like, comment, and share and support them. Hey, Lizzie, what up? Um, they're awesome individuals, like legit, like I mentioned before, with like Medic and Street Taco Eater. Um, and with Vixen, the, these guys and girls have this community you know, that's really welcoming and wholeheartedly. Um, and it's just, it's it's a different aura and environment when you go to their streams. And they literally, you know, they're uplifting and they take a lot, man. They, they literally, like I said, they're, they're a great community. So don't forget to go out there to... Um, Ashley Jeanette, I'll be putting the, uh, the links on my post, but it'll be on my post editor. And of course, I can't forget my my main streamers. I can't forget my main streamers because she's on there. Um, so don't forget to go Ashley Jeanette. I'm, I'll say the uh, the URL once again to you guys. Um, and then don't forget to also go to Putnam. So Ashley Jeanette, uh, twitch.tv, um, Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y, Jeanette with J-E-A. Um, N E T T E E, okay, two T's and two E's, and then of course for Putnam, don't forget to visit him, like, comment, and share as well, and support. Um, it's twitch.tv slash P U T N, the number four M027, and of course, mad love goes out to the gamer sensei guru of mine, um, Laura, who uh, has brought me back into the world of uh, Twitch and the world of games and a whole bunch of other stuff. I um, want to give out a shout out to her as well um, because like I said, if it wasn't for my Guru Sensei teaching me the ways of gaming is back again, um, you wouldn't be seeing me on Twitch right now. Um, so go visit her um, URL as well. She has a link to you which I don't think is on her page but um, at the moment because I can't read it. Maybe she'll, she'll drop it on the Facebook and I'll read it. But well, go visit her on Twitch on twitch.tv slash the Strawberry Phoenix. Everybody knows how to spell that. It's straight words. Strawberry Phoenix. Go support her live. Like, comment, and share. Literally tell them that CK dropped you that way. <laughs> Hold on, man. I'll get to you in a second. Um, and also, my good friend Heidi, go support her stream as well. She does a whole bunch of streams of um, Animal Crossing, which is awesome, by the way. Which I keep watching and I, I learn a whole bunch of new tricks and stuff. Um, which I'm still trying to build my pumpkin patch. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. I'm still, I'm still stuck on that. Leave me alone. But yeah, so go support her as well at twitch.tv slash Thundersaurus. Yeah, Thundersaurus. T-H-U-N-D-E-R. 
S A U R U S 144. So go support these people, okay? If you don't support them, I'm gonna kick you in the butt. Nah, no, no, go support them. Come on, show them love, like, comment, and share their stuff, spread the world that these people exist. Come on, you guys, come on. You know you can do that. That's something simple and easy you can do. You know what we're gonna do. So, hey man, how are you? Welcome to the show. Um, what are you making today? We made, you guys turn me in towards the end of the show, um, honey sriracha meatballs again. Okay. Get me, just look, look at that. You look like a face though. You anybody see a face like you look like a face right there? Anybody see the face? No, no, no. That's a face, right? There's a little face right there. What the hell? <laughs> that was not done on purpose. That just happened by mistake. Um <laughs> But yes people, don't forget to like, comment, and share all my social medias, which on the post edit you'll see it over here. Uh, don't forget to visit also my wife's social media, which I'll put in the post edit over here somewhere. Uh, which, by the way, I know everybody's been asking, where's Mel? I have no idea. Uh, she's probably working late. Um, so, yeah, so, um, with that, everybody, I know it's been an hour almost with you guys together, but I'm hungry. I know you guys are hungry, but listen, go do that. Uh, um, if you do any of the recipes of the show or any suggestions you may have, send them my way. Literally, legit, send them my way. I will put it on the video. Uh, that will be streamed not only on our social media, but it is shown on TV. And that's basically where your shout-out is being shown also. So, um, thank you all of you guys, as always, for supporting me. I, I, uh, I'm i trying not to get emotional. I don't want to cry. Um, but thank you all of you for showing so much love of us making so many episodes into 104. I'm trying to hold it. I'm trying to hold it. Um, but definitely thank you all for the love, man. I, I, I don't know how much to express to you guys that we're going into season five now, 105th episode coming up soon next week. Um, but um, it's all because of you guys, the, the love you guys provide us, whether big or small doesn't matter. As an acknowledgement from lunch break, thank you guys for for doing your thing as always and making our presence known to the world. You know, I greatly appreciate that. That. Um, you know, us small streamers, us small people who, who do things, um, we all got to stick together and support each other so we can make this world know that there's more to it than just the negative that's going on. And, you know, I, I gladly thank you guys for being there, for, for allowing me to share that part of your homes and your world and your time to literally do that. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all of you, like legit. Um, and to end of season four. So, as always, uh, my wife's not here to, to also say goodbye. But um, thank you, everybody. As always, let me say here, uh, don't settle for less. Make it your best. So, I was your host, Christian Knight. And until next time, don't forget, we're still making food, right? Catch you guys later.